Hello everyone. I don't have any sewing projects that are finished that I can show you just yet. You can see I'm working on something right now. But until that's actually finished and I can show you all of the work that's gone into it, I'm going to do the 20 costumer questions from Sew Loud. Question one. What was your first costume? Ooh. <laughs> My first costume was a really bad renaissance renaissance dress that I made by cobbling together some Simplicity skirts and vests and blouses and it, it was pretty terrible and thankfully there's no photographic evidence of this costume ever having been made so yeah there no one will ever see it again. What is your favorite costume that you've made? Um, that's a hard question. I really love the dress that I'm wearing now. It's my 1890s red plaid that I made last this past December. But I also really like my purple natural form dress that I made for Dickens two years ago. So those are pretty much on the top of my list. Question three, what costume do you dream of making? Um, I don't really have a dream dress like a lot of people. I kind of just, I will find a fashion plate that I like and try and recreate that or I'll come up with something or I'll see a dress in a museum that I really like and want to copy, but I don't really have one that's been like hovering on the to-do list forever. It's, it kind of just, I don't really have a dream dress. What is a sewing task that you love versus one that you hate? I like doing hand-sewn eyelets. Um, I think they're really enjoyable, they're really relaxing. You kind of just sit in front of the television and put, put them in while you're, do while you're doing something else. I like a hand embroidery a lot. I really like doing that. As far as something I hate... Oh, alterations. I hate alterations. I hate hemming pants. I hate redoing waistbands. I hate... I hate it. I hate alterations. Would you rather sew silk or wool? So, a lot of the time my budget doesn't allow for either one of those materials. I tend to sew in a lot of cottons and a lot of really good looking fake stuff. I, a lot of really decent looking fake materials that are actually polyester, so I tend to sew a lot of non-historically accurate materials. Um, the one time I've worked with silk was years ago and I don't remember if I liked it or not. It seemed to go okay. And uh, the few times that I've worked with wool was actually not for historical projects. It was for Star Trek uniforms. So I suppose wool, wool seems tame. Wool seems easier to handle. Silk seems like it would be slippery and angry. So wool. Would you rather go to a themed event or a pick your own theme event? I tend to prefer themed events. Um, you kind of get transported back into that era, especially if you're in a really good venue. And uh, with pick your own theme events, it's, it's fun to see everyone's interpretation of like, everyone wear blue and then everyone shows up in something blue. And it's fun to see where they take that, but I really like everyone being together in the same period and it looking like a painting or you know, a scene from a film. I really like that. Would you rather attend a big ball or an intimate dinner? I like both. Um, I I love period dancing. I love going to balls. There was uh, if there is a period ball that I can attend that's within my financial reach, then yes, absolutely, I'm going. I love love period balls. Um, I also love themed dinners. I love going to little venues that look like they're right out of the period and getting to chat with my friends in a close setting and not having to worry too much about running from one part of an event to the next and just getting to kind of relax with everyone so I like both. Do you prefer to machine sew or hand sew? Um, I tend to defer to my machine a lot because of just time crunch. I tend to leave things to the last minute a lot but um, I do enjoy hand sewing occasionally. Uh, I do find it a little bit frustrating at times, but when it comes to hand embroidery, I really enjoy hand embroidery, so I guess it depends on the project. Do you like wigs, hair pieces, or your own hair? I tend to do my own hair because I 
can't afford wigs. They're a little bit pricey for me. Um, hair pieces, I haven't really experimented too much with hair pieces, but I do want to. Um, but right now I'm just using my own hair. Name five small businesses you love for costume things. Oh man. Um, so Super Textiles is actually a local Dallas-based fabric company. Uh, he's one guy. He has amazing. Uh, he has an amazing assortment of buttons. Um, but his store was recently completely destroyed by a tornado, so now he's on Etsy. So if you need buttons or unusual fabrics, you should look up Super Textiles on Etsy. Um, I also love Queen and Cavendish. They have really beautiful pieces. I haven't been able to buy any of them, but I really like looking at her sparkly things. Dons Alamode, Mode, of course, more sparkly things. Um, there is a website called Sale and Bargain. They have really, really inexpensive lace. Um, I'm not sure where they're out of, but uh, they tend to buy like is the last of this particular item and we're never gonna get it again so buy everything you can but it's only 30 cents a yard so you buy the whole roll so I have bought a lot of lace from them and uh, have had really good results with that here in Dallas there's another fabric retailer named best fabrics and I tend to find a lot of really period appropriate uh, damasks and brocades there so I would definitely check them out as well. They were also hit by the tornado but their website is still active so I'm hoping that they'll open up again pretty soon. Name five YouTubers you should check out. So let me see. So loud of course because she's the one that came up with these questions. Um, engineering Knits is really cool because she knits lace and she's doing a lot of period under things and that's uh, it's been really interesting following her. Um, Let's see, Dixie DIY, she's actually a local costumer to me and she just did an amazing recreation of uh, Alice Roosevelt's gown, so definitely check her out. Um, Ellen Abrahamson, uh, I am completely obsessed with her videos because they're absolutely gorgeous. She's a master of cinematography, so I will definitely check out her. Uh, this one isn't historical costuming, but uh, it is alternative fashion, so if you're into Japanese Lolita fashion, definitely check out Scarf from Scarves. Uh, she does a segment called um, Last Week Lolita News that is kind of a Last Week Tonight John Oliver style uh, scorched earth, salty, wonderful news segment about what's happening in the Lolita community, and it's hysterical, and you should check her out. What is my favorite color? I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. I also like red. Pearls or sparkles? Um, I guess it depends on the outfit. I tend to wear pearls more during the day and sparkles at night. So yeah, it depends on the outfit. What is a costume trip you dreamt of taking? I've always wanted to do one of those trips where everyone rents out like a chateau or a castle and stays there for a week and everyone's in costume the whole time and we do fun things like dance and eat big dinners and generally be flouncy and yeah I've always wanted to do one of those. What is your favorite cocktail? Um, I don't drink a lot um, but I do enjoy a Pimm's cup when they're available they're not generally available very often but they're kind of the first time I had them was in New Orleans I don't even know if they exist beyond that so yeah a Pimm's cup. Who is a costumer you would love to meet? I would like to probably meet Nikki from Liam. I've chatted with her a little bit um, on group chats and stuff like that, but she does such amazing costumes and goes to really cool events. So yeah, it would be fun to meet her. Plain or patterned? Plaid. Plaid. Use a pattern or make your own. Uh, I tend to drape most of my stuff. I find commercial patterns are good for certain things, but the things that I want to make usually aren't available in commercial patterns, so I tend to just drape them myself. What is your favorite era to wear and to make? Uh, I love wearing 1890s. I feel it's super flattering and hides all my squishy bits. Uh, there's something really fun about gigantic sleeves. I'd like to try the 1830s. I actually have a project in the works right now, but I haven't finished it yet. But also big sleeves, yay! Um, my favorite era to make uh, is probably hmm, probably natural form. 
I like doing all the pleats and making something just completely over the top, so probably natural form or bustle era. What's one thing we don't know about you? Um, in my mundane life, I work in a jail. <laughs> so, I don't get to wear this at work though. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to have this project finished up within the next couple of weeks and, and share that with all of you. But until then, I hope this was a fun little diversion. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw today and to subscribe if you want to see more costuming stuff from me. And until the next time I see you, have fun on your costuming adventures. Bye!